So just to recap everything that we did in terms of creating your SNS topic, we gave our topic a name, we set encryption, so we enabled encryption using KMS, the key master service that's available in AWS. We were playing with the access policy like we see here, so we set this to everyone so that everyone can both publish and subscribe to this SNS topic. Again, you probably don't wanna leave this on if this is gonna be any kind of production system. Good for testing, but that's pretty much it. We were playing with the retry policy, which controls the functionality if SNS cannot deliver a message to a subscription endpoint. And then finally, we went and we talked about delivery status logging, which lets us see when messages get successfully delivered to our subscriber endpoints. And then we have this tag section down here. I'm not gonna go into this. This is just for organization more than anything. Nothing really substantive in terms of SNS. This is just a general AWS feature. So we're gonna go ahead now in the bottom right and click on create topic. And you can see at the top here, topic, customer order topic was successfully or created successfully. Uh, you can create subscriptions and send messages to them from this topic. So everything worked correctly here. Uh, we got that all set up. So let's take a look at what we're seeing uh, for this topic. So I just wanna go back and show you what it looks like when we're back on the console. Uh, so you can see now when we click on topics on the left, uh, we now have this customer order topic. And again, this is the ARN, which stands for Amazon resource name of our particular instance of this topic. So if I click on this guy, uh, we can see some of the attributes about it. So, you know, the access policy that we defined, the retry policy that we defined, everything that we created in the previous steps, we can see what we did here. And if we wanna change anything in terms of the settings of this stuff, all you have to do is go ahead and click on edit. And then you can go ahead and change all of these different settings if you want something to be slightly different. Maybe you wanna modify the access policy to give someone else permissions. Everything happens here. And then once you're done, you just go ahead and click on save changes and that is going to be instantly applied. Now the next thing that we need to do is create subscriptions and we're going to do that in the next video.